United States, more than 31% of American women report being physically or sexually abused by a husband or boyfriend at some point in their lives. I literally would go to bed at night thinking, thank you, I'm still alive. That's a stupid way to go to bed every night. Domestic violence can affect all women from all backgrounds. Less visible is the abuse on minority ethnic women who face more barriers. For black and minority women, they have to battle on two fronts, one around sexual discrimination, the other around uh, racial oppression. According to India's National Crime Records Bureau, a woman is abused by her husband or a family member every nine minutes. Every half hour, a woman is raped. And every six hours, a young married woman is burned, beaten to death, or driven to commit suicide. I was not allowed to even communicate with my mom. He's thrown a hot pot of uh, curry over me. In those 24 hours, I could have either died or been paralyzed.
domestic violence has plagued our society for a very long time. Yeah, but we often forget about those who suffer in silence, the children who witness the violence in their home and have nowhere to turn. Victim advocates say domestic violence, unlike other crimes, is considered a private family affair, and that's why so many keep silent. But sometimes that silence is broken by the kids themselves. What are you reporting? Hello? Uh, hold on, hold on. Hello? Um... Hello? Somebody tell me what's going on. Um, my dad hit my mom, now she's bleeding. Okay, where are you, babe? <laughs> I haven't seen my son for 15 years. I tried very hard to meet him, but they won't let me. His father, grandfather, grandmother, aunt and uncle tell him, if you meet your mother, we'll make your life as hellish as your mother's. Domestic violence is still taboo and widespread. Even the legal system is reluctant to enter into what it sees as the private affairs between a husband and his wife.